Okay, well, Happy New Year! <laughs> um, I'm finally getting down to uh, doing this Kantar demonstration for you. Um, and I apologize for the wait. It gets a little crazy in my life uh, right around Christmas time with two kids and everything. Um, but I'm really excited to talk about this instrument. Um, so uh, let's um, talk about the Kantar a little bit. Kantar means to sing. Um, it is, uh, I, it's, it's a instrument that we're, I guess you could say we pioneer this instrument. I don't know if we invented it. Um, a friend of mine bought one from a couple of street kids in India about 18 or 20 years ago, and it was obviously homemade. It had different screws attaching the neck to the can. Um, the tuning pegs were different. It looked like it was something that was made on the fly. Uh, on the hood of a car or something, but um, w uh, it, it ha also the one from India had different string configuration, and I don't know how they played it. Um, we wound up with it um, uh, by chance um, after we inherited a friend's van for a period of time. Um, okay, um, the Kantar is, uh, the way I see it anyway, is... Uh, it's as much a percussive instrument as it is a stringed instrument. Um, the strings on the Kantar are to produce a drone sound, which is very common in Middle Eastern and Irish music. Um, the drone, this drone, um, you'll hear two strings in harmony. And it's very important to have these two strings in harmony because when you start the percussive part on this instrument, it's that harmony that produces um, resonation and uh, uh, acoustical effects from within inside the can. Um, this produces uh, what I think of as uh, amazing harmonics. Harmonic quality comes out from the inside of the can. So let's stop talking about it and uh, play it a little bit. Here, when I hit the bottom of the can, how it changes the pitch. What I'm doing is I'm taking the heel of my hand and I'm hitting just the outer ring of the can, these ridges here. I'm hitting the outside of the can, not the middle. You don't want to distort the middle of the can and the uh, these uh, string pegs will really mess up your wrist. So you just want to, to produce a drone, you can just give it a light tap. You're pushing and then slowly releasing, or you can do it fast. Now that produces a drone sound that you then can come and play percussion on top of. with any percussive instrument, um, the, uh, the possibilities are endless um, with the different kinds of percussive rhythms you can play on the Kantar and different tunings too. This is just one tuning that I'm using. Um, uh, so that's, that's one way to play the Kantar and, you, and you'll notice um, there's different tones that you can get from where you hit the bottom of the can. Um, you have uh, kind of a washboard effect on the side here. Um, the other way I like to play the Kantar is then pick, I like to play these with a stick. And uh, I recommend a bundle stick like this. Um, you can get these at just about any uh, um, drum shop. Um, but these produce a really nice tone on the neck. Um, 
you can see the, the the sounds you get from the tip of the stick are different than the, the sounds you get in the middle and also um, when you strike the neck with the middle of the stick you generate more vibrations along the neck which then start producing those uh, um, acoustic effects from inside the can. I lost days to work the first time I discovered the sounds that this instrument makes. And of course, you can uh, you can play the bottom of the can with your stick. Uh, there's no rules here. You just play around with it and play with the vibration and the tuning and uh, come up with different rhythms and uh, and then start accompanying other musicians with it. So uh, to close for this video, I'll just go ahead and play around a little bit, and uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy your Cantar. Um, get back with me. Um, we have a website that's in the works, and we're back in uh, manufacture these guys this winter, and we're going to be shipping them to different uh, percussionists around the country because we're really curious to see what other people do with this sound. Um, so, thank you very much. Okay.